Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at PAX 2014. I'm at, I'm uh, here at Logitech's booth speaking with Chris. Hi, I'm Chris Payne, the product manager for Gaming Mice for Logitech G. And, and we're talking about the uh, G502 Proteus Core. Okay, and uh, we're taking a look at it right here. And uh, Chris, with so many different uh, mice out on the market, what makes this one special? So the biggest new feature on this is the service tuning capability of the new sensor that we put into it. It has the ability to be tuned for the specific service that you're using it on. So if you're using it on a black table or a plastic mouse mat or a cloth mouse mat, whatever service you're using it on, we've got a surface unit that's capable of uh, making it work well for the, the, the way that you game. Awesome, and it also uh, has a 1200, 1200 DPI sensor, is that right? Uh, the maximum is 12,000 DPI. 12,000. Which is uh, a very large number. Uh, the DPI was not the point of the, uh, of the sensor development. What we looked for in the development of the sensor was making it as responsive and, uh, and reactive as possible, getting the ability to um, uh, optimize for the surface that you're on, and just really making it the, the smoothest and fastest uh, 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 sensor possible. Um, Can you talk about some of the, the buttons and all that stuff, the layout of the, of the mouse? So it's got 11 programmable buttons. Uh, you can program them to be pretty much anything you want. So you can have individual keystrokes, multi-key macros. Uh, there's three onboard profiles that you can switch between. Uh, you can have up to five DPI settings on board. Uh, you can change the report rate from you know eight milliseconds to one millisecond. Uh, it also has um, weight and balance tuning. So with our G500S mouse, we have a weight cartridge that you can slot into it. But with Proteus Core, you've got individual weights to sit at the bottom of the mouse, which makes the center of gravity lower. And you can also arrange them in different configurations. So if you don't like the... Uh... That one's really wedged in there. <laughs> I don't know what that person did. Okay. Uh... Well, you're supposed to be able to take it out at the point, right? Yeah. So, uh... how, much, how much editing are you going to do? Uh... You just keep rolling with it, that's cool. Okay. okay. So you can take the, the, the weights out and change the balance front to back or side to side, depending on how you like it. Uh, the weight door is held on with a magnet. Uh, it's got the standard uh, 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 low friction PTFE feed. Um, it's got a braided, braided cable. So it's it's, uh, it's got pretty much every uh, feature that you would expect in the mouse. It does have our dual mode uh, scroll wheel, so it's either individual clicks or you can punch block it for uh, free spinning scroll. And the last kind of um, significant thing that we've done with the design of the mouse is to go from the monolithic key plate design in the past, where you would get some flex or warp when you would click the button, to an individual key plate for left and right buttons, so you get um, much more reactive and responsive clicks, as well as a much better feeling click, because the key is more rigid and the direction of travel 